In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for Cu plus H2SO4. This is copper metal plus sulfuric acid. So in this reaction, we're using concentrated sulfuric acid, high molarity, this sulfuric acid. If we use dilute sulfuric acid, the reaction wouldn't take place. We wouldn't have any reaction at all. So this is concentrated sulfuric acid we're talking about. And we probably would heat this up to make the reaction take place. So to balance the net ionic equation, First, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation, which I've already balanced. Next, we write the states for each substance. So copper, that's copper metal. That's a solid. Sulfuric acid, strong acid. So that's aqueous. It'll dissociate into its ions. Sulfates in general are soluble. Copper 2 sulfate, that's soluble. Put a little AQ. Sulfur dioxide, SO2, that's a gas, one you should memorize. And then water, we know that that's a liquid. Once we have the states, now we can split the strong electrolytes into their ions for the complete ionic equation. That'll look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. We'll write the states in later. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So this one's a little tricky. We have two sulfate ions here and just one here. So what we'll do is we'll cross this one out and we'll change this two here to a one and we don't write the one by convention. Everything else is unique. That makes this the balanced net ionic equation for Cu plus H2SO4, concentrated H2SO4. Let me clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation. If you look at charge, we have a four plus here and then a two minus. So over here we have an overall charge of two plus. In the products here, we have two plus as well. If you look at the atoms, they're balanced too. Good word. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation during a thunderstorm for Cu plus H2SO4. Thanks for watching.